Taking a look at all the headlines this lunchtime now, it's the ITV News. Good afternoon, I'm Sangeeta Kandola. The new health secretary, Sajid Javid, says reopening the country is his top priority. The former chancellor has taken over from Matt Hancock, who resigned yesterday after breaching COVID guidelines. As Helen Keenan reports, questions remain over the prime minister's handling of the crisis. A new man in charge and the new health secretary returns to the cabinet with a clear priority. We are still in a pandemic. And I want to see that come to an end as soon as possible. And that will be my most immediate priority, to see that we can return to normal as soon and as quickly as possible. The spot vacant after Matt Hancock was exposed in the sun as breaking social distancing rules with his aide. And there are serious questions surrounding his departure. The Department of Health's launched an investigation into how the son obtained CCTV from inside his office. Labour want the police to investigate whether Mr Hancock broke the law. And they've also questioned the Prime Minister's judgment in refusing to tell him to go. He should have gone on Friday and the Prime Minister should have sacked him. And these are the difficult decisions of leadership. And I'm afraid it feels to me like the Prime Minister has a very dangerous blind spot when it comes to issues of integrity and conduct in public life. A challenging time for the former Chancellor to take over in the shadow of a scandal and just days away from having to make a decision on the final relaxing of Covid restrictions. Helen Keenan, ITV News. In other news, and a fifth body has been recovered after the collapse of a 12-storey apartment block in Florida three days ago. More than 150 people are still unaccounted for. Rescue teams have been using drones to look for survivors. Back here, a man has been shot dead by police in Milton Keynes. They were called out to a serious disturbance at a property yesterday evening where they discovered the dead bodies of a man in his 30s and a child. The man at the property was tasered by officers before being shot. And classified military documents containing details about HMS Defender have been found at a bus stop in Kent by a member of the public. The Ministry of Defence has launched an investigation. That is all for now. Lucrezia Millerini will have our next update just before four o'clock. Until then, do have a lovely afternoon. Bye-bye.